In today's video, and I hope you'll enjoy how I created my hot cocoa and coffee bar for the holidays. Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Glam. And if you're new, my name is Sharon. And even though I can't share this beverage bar with friends, I'm happy to be sharing it with my family. Hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit that bell twice. Make sure you click all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. Let's get started. One side will be the coffee bar and the other side will be the cocoa bar. I purchased these containers from Amazon and each container comes with its own little spoon. And I thought they were so cute and I thought they were ideal to house the different items that you'd use on your coffee or your cocoa. And they come in a set of three. I thought that was so cute. And I believe they were $11 each and I got two of them. So I'm going to start with this for the cocoa side. So on the cocoa side, I decided I'd stack my containers so that you can see what items you have available for you to have with your beverage. And I thought that Ray Dunn hot cocoa container was so cute. I got that from Home Goods. And now on the coffee bar side, I added the coffee grinder. Now I'm gonna add a marble tray to the coffee bar side and my sugar container. And now I'll add the Ray Dunn inspired cream container that I DIY'd myself. And I'll also add hazelnut cream ground coffee by Godiva. I got that from Home Good. And I'll add some cake cups for a coffee option. And now I'm gonna add some hot cocoa mix to the cocoa bar side. I purchased two types of cocoa mix. One is the candy cane chocolate truffle cocoa mix that I got from Harry and David's. And the other is the Nestle Classic rich milk chocolate cocoa mix. And then I also purchased some Ghirardelli milk chocolate chips. And then I got a couple holiday mugs. One is a penguin and the other is a snowman. Uh, I got those from Hobby Lobby purchase some mini stirrers. These are cocoa latte stirrers with mini marshmallows. I got these from Home Goods, I believe. And I picked up some chocolate syrup along with the Ray Dunn hot cocoa um, container and the hot cocoa double chocolate. I also picked up the chocolate syrup because this will go great. This goes great on your hot cocoa as well as your ice cream. I found some uh, hot cocoa flavored candy canes, so I thought I'd give them a try. The hot chocolate candy canes to my penguin cup. I picked up some peppermint bark. I'm gonna add that to one of the plates. This can go in the hot cocoa or the coffee. I also found some um, Starbucks hot cocoa K-Cups. So I thought that was kind of cool. If you don't want to use the cocoa mix, you can use a cake up. And then I also got some gingerbread cookies. And then I got some of the candy cane spoons from the Dollar Tree. So now I have all of the containers filled. Down here I have the Nestle's hot cocoa mix. In here I have some regular small marshmallows. In here I have the crushed peppermint. In here I have some milk chocolate chips. In here I have the Harry and David truffle milk chocolate cocoa mix. And I have some more marshmallows. Now it's time to make some coffee and some hot cocoa. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm gonna leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out. And make sure you follow.
and I'd also like to dust it with just a little bit of cocoa powder. A little bit of cocoa. You can also do cinnamon. coffee bar love is brewing and then on the other side hot cocoa bar extra marshmallows so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment let me know are you a coffee drinker or a hot cocoa drinker or like me both what's your favorite item for your favorite hot beverage at the end of this video you'll see a couple links click one to see more all things home by creative glam and thanks for watching and I'll see you right back here next time bye